Well, good morning, Christ Church. It is another Monday. Just family conversation coming straight to your inbox today. If you click the link here in this email, uh, you are at this video. And today, uh, we actually, today starts week five of Raise the Spear. But um, yesterday, we talked about sacrifice. And as we begin to unpack that, I really believe as we're in this initiative and really as we live as Christ followers, we are called to sacrificial living. And I really believe that sacrificial living um, and sacrificial giving is biblical living. That, that's what we're called to, is to sacrificially give, uh, to live as biblically as possible. And I really believe when we live sacrificially, other people find the hope and the redemption in Jesus. And so, man, last week we had our advanced commitment night, and it was amazing. We had a couple hundred folks over at the manor house, and God has already done some amazing things there. But as you have that commitment card, I just, I want to walk you through that card again. Remember, the top line of that card um, is what you give in one year. The second line of that card is how much you plan on expanding your giving for one year in the initiative. Um, and then the total of that. So like I said yesterday, if you gave $10,000 a year last year, and you're going to give $10,000 again this year, um, and then for the initiative, you're going to give $5,000 a year, that's $15,000. Then you multiply that times two, and you're going to give $30,000 over the initiative uh, for the next two years. But here's the kicker is we don't want to just get ourselves to where we're like, man, we're going to do this for two years, and then we're going to go back um, to giving uh, our $10,000 and we're good. What, what we want to do is increase our level of sacrificial giving um, continually. So uh, man, if we can learn to live with what we are currently giving and living on, um, if we can give and live, man, that is where God wants us. That is the sweet spot that when our giving and our living, um, when we can decrease what we need to live on and increase what we can give, the kingdom of God gets stronger, gets bigger, gets more generous, and more things happen. So as we talk about planning 100 churches in the Dominican and Haiti, in Mongolia over the next 10 years. In this initiative, we're going to be able to plant 40 plus of those to jumpstart that initiative. Uh, we're going to be able to pay off debt. I mean, debt elimination frees up $330,000 a year from our annual budget that can go straight back into other initiatives. We can use that for, uh, for other missions initiatives. We can put more into our initiative in Africa with our friend Denford and our friend uh, Joshua Bobbeni in Ghana, who, by the way, is a house campus now. They have a house campus in Ghana and are worshiping with us every weekend. We can put more funds into TCM and even expand more of our global impact uh, just by simply paying off debt. And, and so as a church, if, if we can sacrificially give, we can sacrificially live. And I, I love that. And so today, my prayer is this, real, just real short, real simple. My prayer is, is that God would continue to well up in you ways to be generous. I, I, like, I've got a lady in our church right now. She sent an email this week to, uh, to myself and some of our leaders, and she's like, man, I... I really am. I'm trying to figure out, like, I want to be generous in this initiative. And so uh, she's got a side business and she was like, I'm going to donate all, like, all the profits from, uh, like, a portion of my profits from anybody that uses my services from the church or for the church. I'm going to donate a portion of that to raise the spirit. And I was like, man, what a great idea is that she can use um, creative ways to give more. I know for me, I've got the privilege uh, to travel and speak from time to time. So I'm going to give portions of that to raise a spear. That'll be above and beyond what we've already committed this initiative. And at the end of the day, we want to be as generous as possible as a church because we know when we're generous, lives are changed. And when lives are changed, eternity is altered for those that we love. So with that said, I hope you have a great Monday today. I hope you have a great week this week. Uh, I would encourage you live sacrificially this week, sacrificially give, um, not just to the church, but sacrificially live for those around you um, and show them the hope of Jesus. And I promise you, you'll see some amazing things happen. I hope you have a great week this week. I hope you're in your guidebooks, devotion, day one, week five today. Um, so you can dig into that and be a part of that as well um, as we get moving. I guess it would be week four, not week five, where you'd be in devotion week four, I believe. Uh, it's it's whatever we talked about yesterday after the sermon notes. I believe it's week four, um, leading into week five. Sorry. It's Monday. It's early. It's okay. Uh, my shirt says fresh, and I'm trying to get myself fresh right here this morning uh, as we dive into this week. So have a have a great week. Leave your comments down below. Let us know. Um, man, what are some things you want us to talk about here? And then uh, then share this video as well and help other people grab a hold of the vision that you've got a hold of as well. Have a great Monday. We'll see you soon.